Hello and welcome back to Carmson Farm for this next episode of our Let's Play. We we're basically going to face our failure today. To start with, the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to get in the RX9 or the 9RX, whichever way it round it is, and we're going to pick up the plough that we've got on lease. I just thought, um, it's been a couple of days since I recorded on it. In fact, it's probably been more than a couple because I've been doing No Man's Land. And um, yeah, I just thought it was. We've had this on lease for a good few months now. Um, so paying for it. I don't know why we've did this. I don't know why I didn't just go over to that field over there and get it sorted. I mean, to be fair, we haven't we haven't spent overly much. I say we haven't spent overly much. I think it's about six hundred and forty pound a day. I mean, that's six hundred and forty pound a day we didn't need to spend, I suppose. Um. Next one. I'm sure there's a little in fact I'm not there is definitely a little track alongside it. Yeah, so I mean we should have done this before but um I didn't even think about it until I got off the map. I mean this absolutely pains us to do this by the way. know that we could have had tens of thousands li as litres of weed. I mean, like I said, I don't know if I mentioned it before. <laughs> right, let's get this going. What I'll probably do is I might do a couple of laps of the headland and then put it on a worker because there is other stuff that I want to do. Um, I think I mean I haven't I haven't looked at the contracts yet, but there will be a couple of uh Is that there in there? There's in that there will be a couple of contracts to do. Um sort of decent priced ones. The last episode I think was us doing the sugar beet harvest, wasn't it? That took a long time. Like a mega long time. I think it ended with, um, I say all these, I think, it's because it's been days since I've been on this map and I've been playing No Man's Land in between, so things kind of get a little bit hazy. Um, and I think, I say I think, I think again, I've also been on Elm Creek a bit as well, just off when I'm bit not being recording, just playing Elm Creek, so um, yeah, things definitely get hazy. But with the Sugar Beat, we ended up um, going well after dark with it, which I don't like to do, I don't like recording after dark, I know uh, the last No Man's Land as well, that went into us doing Cultivating, which finished in the dark, and it's just, it's not very good, it doesn't look very good on camera, and it's, um, it's hard for myself as well to sort of see where we're going, and getting sort of an ac accurate picture of what we're doing, but that sugar beet um, contract, it's really weird. Or it, the machine is called a Tiger. I'm sure it's called Tiger, isn't it? It emptied absolutely fine throughout the whole um, contract. Didn't have an issue emptying whatsoever into a trailer. It gets to the very last bit, so I finish the field, and there's about 20 odd thousand litres. I can't remember off the top of my head, but around about 20 odd thousand litres left in the machine, which is pure profit for me as well. I've already satisfied, by this point, I'd already satisfied the um, the requirements for the contract. Uh, I'll just make, in fact, I'll just make sure that I did. I don't even know if I. Yeah, I did. I was going to say I didn't know if I completed them or not. Um, so, yeah, I'd already satisfied the requirements for the contract, and um, it wouldn't let us tip. The last, 
the last um, 20 odd thousand litres. So I just had to complete it and just, it was wasted, basically. Couldn't do anything else with it, which was a shame. Um, it was just that money down the drain, really. But I mean, we got a decent amount for the contract, and I think we made a decent amount with um, the surplus that we could tip as well. But yeah, it was just a shame with that last lot, really. It did take a long time, like, and obviously I've already said that we are doing potatoes. Um, I think for the first year, for this year, we're going to put two fields worth in. So this field and the one sort of two fields up. Um... But then maybe every year after that might only put sort of one field and rotate what fields we use. But we will see. Basically, if I'm going to invest in the equipment, I need to get value out money for the equipment, don't I? I can't just, what's the point in spending 600 grand on a piece of machinery and then using it once? There's no point, is there? Um, as far as other things to do with deer... There's a possibility that we will get cows today, maybe. Um, yeah, I've brought the I've brought the mixer over. I did that um, before I started recording. I brought the mixing um, wagon over. That's now sitting at the cow farm. I haven't made any any mix or anything like that. Um, what else do we want to do? I'll tell you what we need to do. We need to get some fertiliser on um, our fields because we've got three three fields that'll have crops in them um, and none of them have fertiliser on yet. And considering one's already got wheat in the ground, or barley, I can't remember which one I put in out. Um, did I put wheat in? One of them's got a cereal crop in the ground. Um, and we haven't got any the first stage of fertilising on it, so that needs to change. And we're going to get that done today as well. Just so I don't forget more than anything else. As far as something else that I can't remember if... I, obviously, because it's a good few days ago, I can't remember if I spoke about it and I can't remember if I showed you as well but there was two pieces of machinery that were absolutely ideal for us in the used machinery um, category but because the last video was quite long and I think we possibly ended up on a time lapse as well I didn't show it one of the bits of machinery was quite a large cultivator um, and it had a a good chunk off as well, it was a really good value for money, uh, cultivator. Um, that disappeared almost immediately. It didn't stay in the used machinery very long at all. It was in the end spot, so like the one furthest away, the one that had, um, the spot that had, uh, you would say a sort of spot number four, and it didn't stay long. It went off um, within like a few hours. So that was a shame, because we'd have had that would have went and sold our cultivator and got a one that was pretty much double what ours was. Um, I think it was a... I will tell you. It was a, one of them... If I just had... If I'd, how do you pronounce it? Vadastad? It's one of them. And yeah, it was absolutely ideal, but missed out on that. Um, and the other, th the second piece of machinery, that would have been spot on for us as well, be just because of the price more than anything, not because it fit the map. There was a Mac, I think I might have actually showed this as well from memory. There was a Mac um, truck that had a lot of money off it as well and we are going to need a truck um, just due to the size of our fields and stuff I'm, I think a, a truck will be more beneficial 
saying that, I mean, it's very, just going through the roads, it's a very tight map uh, with regards to roads. I'm not saying that's small, just it's a very close map. It's really good. I really, really like it, the way it's set. Um, this is, the way it is, this is like uh, perfect black cat map making for me. Absolutely love it. Um, yeah, I still think a truck would be better just because, I mean, you can get, I suppose you can get dollies and stuff to go on trailers as well, can't you? But So yeah, that was the other thing that would come on, but that stayed on longer, but not long enough. And in fact, that stayed on for quite a while, but it just didn't stay on long enough to for this episode, which was unfortunate. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put it on. How does the map look? Are we going to go up and down or side to side? We're going to go side to side. So I'm going to put a worker on it now. I mean, if you remember, this piece of machinery, this was a new machinery mod. I mean, look at that, absolute beast. Bargain that. Right. <laughs> Absolutely typical. Absolutely typical. Unbelievable. Um, what are we going to do? Right, use machinery. Let's have a look in there. So, um, we don't need that because we've got the John Deere. Too small. Don't need because we've got the JCB. And don't need and that is it on there um contracts let's have a look at contracts because we might as well get one of them started wrong one we might as well get a contract started and then uh oh my god menus i say menus totally me but i'll blame the menus anyway we will Start that. I'll borrow the machinery for that. What's that? Harvest and one corn. And we will. We'll borrow the machinery for that. What I'll do, I'm going to quickly nip off, go and get them contracts started, and then we'll come back and we're going to work in this field here. I hate this. But that's my fault for letting them get that long. So give us two seconds and we'll be back. Right, those couple of contracts are away. There was that fairly decent um, cultivating contract. What I did was I took a couple of um, rows off the top and bottom and then I've put the worker away. And the same with the fertilising contract. Did one strip across the top and bottom and then set our worker away on it. What we're going to do now is grab our sprayer which I think will still have some um, herbicide in it so we'll have to get rid of that. Use this bit of waste ground over here there we go. We'll get this filled. We'll try again. I'll get this filled. Do I have to fill this first? I'll put, I'll put, I'll put them on. Right. I'm saying, I'm pressing here, start refill. 
but it's not refilling anything. Do I have to do that? Is that one of them where I need to put the fertiliser in first before we can use it? Because that is less good if it is. Right, I'll nip over to the shop. We'll get this filled up and I'll come back. Okay, so we're full. And we'll start to spray. Like I said, we... Am I still in the first growth stage? Or am I going to need... Yeah. That'd have been an awful surprise if we weren't. Like I think I said before, I don't even know if we can get um, suitable tyres on this uh, tractor or not. I hope we can see a difference here. Um, yeah. going to be difficult to do. I've just had this on No Man's Land as well, haven't I? Um, for those who watch that, with the weeding. Trying to weed the barley fields is... You, well, you can't. Without using... Constantly going back onto the map, it's impossible. Just because they don't show up. They're an absolute nightmare. What was brilliant is when we got precision farming on 19 and the mini map. It showed it, didn't it? it showed where you were weeding or where you were fertilising, where you were liming. I suppose lime. <laughs> Take lime out because I think that pretty much shows up um, on its own. There's a um on here, and if you can see in the distance, pretty much right in the middle of your screen, but in the distance, there's a um it's either a wheat or barley field over there. Nothing's happening with it. So contracts aren't coming up for it. It's not withering. And it just says it's ready to harvest. It's like it's stuck. I'm almost tempted, well I don't even know if we've got the money, but I was going to say I'm almost tempted to buy it, to get the crop off it. Um, it will be one of these here, possibly that one. Yeah, because I, I mean, say if we go into winter, even if we bought it to buy it to try to sort of kickstart it, if you know what I mean, so it's not like that the whole period of time, because it just won't look great, will it? Ah, one times one as well. I knocked it down while we were getting the um while we were starting the contract workout. I really wish we could see some air. I can kinda see it getting darker. But not enough. Totally gonna have to go off the map, which is gonna be annoying because it means I'm gonna have to be doing that the whole way through. It's either that I've put a worker on it and I've got a worker on the two contracts and on the ploughing of that field. Is 
it has been nice to be able to use uh, to be able to use workers on a on a series again. Like I said, I've just come off um, two nights of doing videos on No Man's Land. And it's so different. It's such a different experience playing on that to what it is playing on this. I love them both. But, um, yeah, it's mega different. On no man's land I'm literally using like a, a two and a half metre cultivator. Um a tractor that's I can take that off. A tractor that's sort of almost conking out. It takes us ten minutes if we want to refuel our vehicles just to drive up. Right, what's the best way to do this? I think I'm going to drive down to the bottom. I know we've got this toad, um, this toad spreader. I've never really liked toad spreaders. I think I've spoke about this. In fact, it might have even been in the last episode. Um, if it wasn't the last episode, basically the last episode which was the one where we done, if it was the spraying, I've had that recorder for quite a while, but I needed to put, um, I needed to put No Man's Land uh, videos out instead. Um, just so I wasn't putting, sort of, constantly pushing either Camston or, or Camston, sorry. So yeah, I think I mentioned it before when we were doing this weeding. I've never really, I find I find them quite sort of difficult to use. It's just a pain you you don't seem to get everywhere with them. And if at some point we can replace it, I think I would either with the one that fits directly onto the tractor or with a um, self-propelled sprayer. Which, funnily enough, in Mod Hub today, I haven't had a look to see how much it is, but I know it was definitely on 19. There's a, um, is it an Amazon self propelled sprayer? I've actually downloaded that. Um, where are we at? There. Oh, yeah, Amazon Pantera 245,000. So, I mean, if one of them comes in, probably one of them too. If one of them comes in to use machinery, I think uh, we might just take it. We'll probably still get a decent amount back off this one as well. I wonder how much we would get back off this. Ah, not as much as I thought. Although saying that, we'll get more if we if we take it to the um, cell point, wouldn't we? Look over there, you'll see our John Deere just quite happily reversing up the whole length of the um Ah, this is why I don't like ones like this. 
reversing up the whole length of the field there. Or just half the length there. Just half the length, not the full length. Because the full length would be stupid. This is so difficult to do, by the way. I am going to put it on a worker shortly because one of the workers has stopped one of the ones down here. That's that fertilising one there. That can't have much left on here, surely. I know, 99. And there's the other one of the other workers stopped as well, which is actually ours in the um, ploughing. I know with that one, we are going to have to do some ourselves because um, even though I took a couple of headlands or a couple of um, laps off uh, around all sides, it still wasn't enough. You'd think one year, I mean, for me to spray in this field, I'm having to do that all the time. Wouldn't it be good if that worked? If you could sit in cab and see what you used to see in um, when we had precision farming, if you could look at that. And what used to be projected on precision farming, that was easy to say, is projected on that screen now. Because doing this all the time is awful. I know it's awful. I'd hate to, like, it does my head in having to do that all the time. So for people who's watching, surely it's the same for yourselves. But what other choice have we got? I think we're going too far over there. Right, I will jump out and quickly run away. Oh, I've missed this tiny bit strip. Right, we'll get through these bushes. In fact, there's quite a lot. I thought there was just the odd bit on more on that side, but it looks like there's more than I thought. Right, it's that field there. So it's that one there, how much is that field? 772,000, yeah, so we're not buying that. Unless we got a loan. What would be interesting is, if we bought it, would it wither? Right, let's get this strip done up here. Um, then you can see there's a well, there's a couple of bits all over, isn't there? A couple of just random bits. Um, did 
that one the best to look at? Is that one best to look at? That one. To be honest, I don't think the worker's done a bad job after this. I've never really been a big fan of articulated um, tractors on this game. Although I don't think this bit showing up will still take it. Ah. I say we'll take it. And what's wrong with that? It's a very random little thing in it. It's like someone's been missed on the map. Is that another bit there? Yeah, there's a bit of green in that bit as well, isn't there? Right, so it's going to be two runs for this one. I don't know if we're going to end up getting the cows in this episode. This episode is probably going to go over two days now. Two episodes, sorry. This in-game day is going to go over two episodes by the looks of it. So a bit left down it yeah just a little strip down there and then we're done what am i do i know that like even though we don't have a time on anymore i know we've been recording for quite a while and i know we were recording for quite a while before the um before we start with the contracts as well so I think what we'll do is we'll finish this we'll make sure the fertilizing is finished is that going to be the same yep. make sure the fertilizing's finished we'll get them contracts finished and then that'll be the episode the cows and there's something else I'm going to do I won't say what but I'm pretty much 99% certain that I'm going to do it. There's something else with the animals that I'm going to do as well. Or with one of the animal pastures, more like. Right, let's get this folded up. And what I'll do is maybe in the next episode that field there and the field up the top or what the ploughed field I will get one load of fertiliser on at least it'll be easy to see and it'll save us a job for later I can't get rid of this plow now as well, can I? Right, 
a little bit to do on there then. I like the fact that um, I can use the menus. No, that uh, alignment's done in 22 by the other farmers. I wish you could see them working in the fields. That's. Um, That would be on my wish list of sort of ways to improve the game. I know it would probably take up more slots and um be probably more of a pain for map makers, but it would look so good. I know in some in fact, it might have even been... Didn't Oxygen David do it in Sandy Bay? Where a couple of the fields right at the top of the map had that John Deere with the, um, with the muck spreader on the back. Does that sound familiar? I'm sure there's been other maps as well. Didn't mean to save that, just totally didn't want to be on there. Oh, that comes on Summit actually for... Um, I made a bit of an error on my No Man's Land map, the survival Let's Play. I, uh, the time, basically I put it on the wrong time. And it's um, after the last episode, and it's flew through until about halfway during the next day. So instead of starting the next episode at like eight o'clock in the morning, which is generally what I do, it's um, it's going to start at like midday. I've lost half the day. So whatever we're going to be doing on that next, we're going to have to get a shifty on and do it. That's one of the issues with um console when you when you do it and then save it, which is what I did. There's no going back. Right, we shall leave that there. Park this up. And we will be using that again soon. Let's, in fact, what I'll do is, just while we're on, before we go, put that help window. Right, so that's it, start overloading. So yeah, I'm going to have to fill that. I didn't know I needed to do that. I thought I'd just be able to get it straight away. So can I put a herbicide in there as well? And is that also the same for fuel? I've got a fuel tank around there, haven't I? Oh, 
Let's see if this is the same. It doesn't appear so, so is that just... No. That just must be for um, liquid fertiliser. Right. I'll check, in fact, I'll check the fuel next time. Let's jump over to some of the contract, with the two contracts we've got going, get them finished, and then that'll be it. Okay, I've just been finishing um, this off camera, really. There was still quite a bit left when we come back over. Um, I know this video is going to be long, so I just thought we'd do the majority off camera. Um, the fertilising contract there that it was that field that I had that was on 99% as you've seen when I showed you the contracts um, so I mean that one completed pretty much straight away uh, but then this one it was only on 70% because it's a it's a big field it's just took that bit of time you see I've knocked it back down to times one that's just It'll allow us to get another video in in this in-game day. 95%. I don't know where them horns keep coming from as well. I'll have to have another look at used machinery. I don't know when, um, if there's a specific sort of time when they update, or is it just sort of random? I'm not sure. No, there's nothing new in there. One of them's dropped off, though, that New Holland. Whatever it was, that, I don't know, is it a T9 or something that was there? I mean, in general, I am trying to sort of replace um, a lot of the starting equipment just with other stuff, either that suits us, um, suits us more, just, or just to sort of differentiate ourselves. I won't do it just for the sake of it, but if something comes up where it's uh, a decent deal or there's a piece of machinery that I prefer to use then we certainly will do that. 98%. Nearly there. There, you can see the spreader just in that field there. Straight ahead of us. Over the last couple of days, I've seen um, Lancy Boys being put out. I don't know if they're meant to be teasers or what. I haven't really sort of looked into them. I didn't know if there was anything attached to them, but photos of um, Stone Valley. So hopefully that should come soon. I won't be. If that comes sort of the next month or so, I definitely, definitely won't be doing a Let's Play on it. 100% won't be. Because I'll still be on No Man's Land. I'll still be on this. However, that doesn't mean at some point, there we go, that doesn't mean at some point the new Stone Valley won't show up in something that we do. Because I really, really enjoyed that map. And I had plans for it for 19 as well. Um, right, so there's the cultivating one. We're going to get 35,000 for that, minus the equipment. And the fertilizer one, we're going to get 32 because we're going to get some reimbursement as well. So, on the next episode, I'm sure we'll do, we'll definitely do that fertilizer one. I might do that 
harvest them one as well just to get the corn because um, I haven't yet decided what if any Bob sure will productions we're going to do on here so we'll do that at some point right so we're going to end the episode today on 429,000 um, we've got through a couple of contracts we've ploughed our withered field our withered wheat field and we've managed to be able to fertilise our seeded field as well so I thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again in the next one